Yeah, queen size mattress. We took it on the bus. <laughs> we because we were like, we're not paying for that. All right, guys. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> if you're new here, thanks for joining. If you already subscribed, thank you so, so much. And you will see we're in the exact same position because we are continuing on with our story time from yesterday. So if you missed oh, part one this. of this story time <laughs> of us moving from small town Maine to Newark, New Jersey, go watch that video first and so then get come back context, here. Yeah. Get some context and then come back here. So in this video, we're going to be telling you all about our experience in the first few days, weeks, and months in our new environment. Yeah. Environment. Oh my God. Okay. Environment. So let me just start it off by saying, I witnessed a homeless man poop out my kitchen window. <laughs> <laughs> Did you remember that? I don't think I witnessed that. So but. if you guys watched the first video, we explained how our apartment in Newark, New Jersey, right outside the door was like the trash area and i would always see homeless people come to our little trash cove and poop and yeah, pee big, yeah i would, I they would believe it because come there and go to the it's, bathroom. it's not just a bunch of trash can but it's like rather, a little, they build a little little wall to, yeah so they just to, like to come cover in. to cover the trash but then to also cover people who do the business there. yeah so i would just i just came downstairs one day look out the kitchen window and there was some guy pooping it's not great I was like, oh my gosh, I just ran back upstairs and was that's like, the, fuck this. That's the view from our the kitchen, di or kitchen yeah. slash dining and yeah. living room okay. situation. Okay, so let's get back to the, to the details. <laughs> so first night in our new apartment, we had no furniture, we had nothing, not even a mattress. Not mattress. We put our sheet on the floor. So the floor had a carpet. So it's not like, yeah. a, not like but not, it's a thin carpet. It's very thin. It was like horrible. It's very thin. We Probably put our sheet too. down, we slept there. Sheet. Yeah, she, and then I, I remember we, we we put our towel. Oh, we had yes, a couple of towels, towels to, to kind of bed. cushion. Yeah, towel, and then oh and then uh, a couple of pillows. Ah, I should have ended the last video on this note because of what I said the the in the morning when I woke up. Did we even have pillows? I don't know. I think we used something as a yeah, pillow, I don't like think a bunch of clothes oh as God. pillow. Oh Lord, there's so much more to tell. That before we went to bed, we were hungry. Remember? Oh yeah, we went. Oh my God. So we we're like, oh, we're hungry, but we don't know what to do. Oh, there's a Subway, like five, ten, you know. Five minutes. It's five minutes walk. Let's yeah. go to Subway. Yeah. We walked down the street. And let me tell you, this was our first taste of Newark, New Jersey. We went into Subway and they yelled at us because we asked for tap water. And apparently <laughs> they don't do tap water. Oh, whoa, whoa. they got so mad at us. So they screamed at us and then we're like, okay, we'll just get one bottle because back then we didn't have a ton of money. So we're like, okay, we'll just get one bottle. <laughs> and unfortunately we got one bottle because when we got back to the apartment... We got a, no, no, we got a bottle to drink then. We, yeah, we brought drink one day. extra for home. Oh yeah, one extra. So we bought two in total for that night. Okay, we did night. two. But it's not... Oh, and they yelled at us because we tried to sit down or something. They're doing renovations. Anyways, it was... So then we come home and later that night we... Mainers, we just go to turn on the tap water, drink the water. Disgusting. It was so bad. <laughs> and then we were like, oh no, we have to make this bottle last all not, night not all water for two is the people. Same. <laughs> because like we didn't know where to go shopping. We had no idea. We had no idea about anything. We just like transported into this to this new place that we dry up like starfish. Oh my god. <laughs> so then we slept on the floor on our, our towel sheet makeshift bed. And I just remember the morning I I opened my eyes. My first thought, where am I? What have we done? Yeah, I, I think, what have we done? I feel like I, I, I thought was the like, same this thing. Is it, a was like, it was strange. It was strange. This, this, we're like, are we stupid? It was strange. Like, why are we here? Well, what school, did we do? Yeah. <laughs> I know, but it was like so bad, such a bad thing. So <laughs> <laughs> so then but then you know, we gotta survive. So we got ourselves up and we said, you know what, let's go to Ikea and get a mattress. So we need to go out shopping, get some stuff. I think we went to Walmart too, didn't we? Yeah. On the shuttle. We did go to Walmart. There was like a grocery shuttle. Yeah. How we knew about that? Who knows? Maybe that was later. I don't even remember. That's later. Okay, we so went we went to Ikea. Right Ikea. We took the New Jersey Transit bus to Elizabeth, New Jersey. It was a bit of a navigation as well. If you don't, you never go on a yeah, bus. Yeah, we got yelled at when we got on a bus because we didn't know how much money it was. And yeah, we put much, the wrong amount because it didn't it, say. How much money. So we how, just put like a few coins in when he started screaming at us. Like we shortchanged him. Things like that. So then we go to Ikea, we get a mattress and we we're going to have it delivered. 
And then they said it was like what, sixty dollars to deliver it? Yeah, like a hundred and twenty dollar oh, yeah. mattress, and, you, and then you pay and like 60, half of that or something. Sixty dollars like to deliver. So we we're like, okay, we can't afford that. So we bought a mattress and a lamp, <laughs> it's like a queen and size, like right? one more thing. I don't remember. Queen, queen size. Yeah, queen size mattress. We took it on the bus <laughs> because we're like, we're not paying for that. We ain't got yeah, money to yeah, blow. Like, oh we're like. We come down, we paid our security <laughs> deposit and our rent. We're like, okay, we gotta make this money last because I don't have a job. He's not working. He's, he's a student. I had to find a job. So we're like, okay, we gotta make the money last. <laughs> we're gonna get on the bus with this mattress. The mattress is, is rolled up tight, right? It was right? rolled you know, up, but, but it was it's, big. It's, it's, a, it's a queen size. Yeah, we still it was have a there. queen size. Yeah. <laughs> <So we're, laughs> we haven't thrown it away. It's a queen size, it so it, you know, it's long. It was huge. And so then we get on the bus. We're getting dirty looks from everybody. Yeah, like, what They're like, the what hell? the hell are these people doing bringing this on the bus? <laughs> so dumb. But it was, it was like, whatever. It was, and it was the middle matter. of summer, middle of July. And then we're like, okay, well, we don't want to miss our stop. <laughs> so let's get off a little bit before, because just in case, you know. Stupid. We get out at Newark Town Hall Dude, like, on Broad Street. Like two miles. It was too, so far away. Too short <laughs> of where we're supposed to go off. We didn't and know. it was like 90 degrees, blasting sun. And he has to carry in the downtown. Mattress. It was scary. So scary. It was like the worst place to get it's off. Like really scary. Like really, really bad. Oh my gosh. Oh, and then no, we saw the homeless guy. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> that was trying to sleep at our house the day before. <laughs> it was like yeah, yeah, yeah. We're <laughs> like oh no, oh no. <laughs> I doubt that he would ever remember it. So he had to put the mattress Dude, on I his shoulder. Like, it's like fifty-five carry, pounds. Carrying the the the, the mattress. I on was my carrying shoulder. a box with the standing lamp, which we still have. And we walked. We walked and walked and walked and walked and, we, and walked. We, we stopped walking and stopped walking and stopped. Yeah, we so stopped heavy. and it was like going up by Military Park. Oh my god. Remember we had to go like to Military Park? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we finally get to our apartment. First thing we did, we cut that mattress open and we just laid there like, oh my god. Mm -hmm. This is the beginning of our of our New Jersey life. Yeah, we, got, we got the mattress home. We got the mattress home. We had to take a breather. We needed a rest. <laughs> it was just too much. Then we needed more stuff. You know, what did we need? A microwave. We bought that in Walmart. A utensil. And then we wanted some like furnitures, like a stand to put the microwave. We went to Salvation Army. Oh yeah. <laughs> We took a bus down to a local Salvation Army. Oh my God! And then we took this table. We found this like little table. Like, it's like, like, it's on like wheels. two shelves on, on wheels. wheels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We brought it on the bus, and it's like rolling around the bus. <laughs> Everyone like, what the? Hell? Like the driver. I remember the driver gave us a dirty look when we when we bought it too. And I was like, what? We just like, well, it is what it is. <laughs> so embarrassing. <laughs> He's just like. <laughs> so we just like slowly <laughs> gathered. Cut off the bus and rolled home. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just like the first few days is us slowly gathering items to to live. And we uh, we didn't have uh, <laughs> we didn't have a um, a dining table <laughs> for, for for two weeks. So what we did was this this a stair right? It was oh, a this two is level two apartment. two levels. So just stay upstairs. <laughs> so we would cook, and then we would um, shout out to Nana for the for the gift the pot and pans <laughs> yeah. to cook on. But then we would bring our plate, you fix two plates and bring sit on the stair. Right? So, so you, you sit, sit on, the, on one and you use one, one as a table. The, the, the higher stair as a table. And so you just kind of oh sit like that on the God. stair. We ate like, like that for like two weeks. And then we got a card table, a folding card table that we, from Walmart. Until with a couple chairs. months ago, still use it for the ancestor table. Mm. That, that was the one. That card table. That was the that's one. lived through a lot. We've got, we got a good oh usage God. out of it. So we got that. And then, you know, like we slowly started getting things together. And I remember it like. I'm jumping forward a little bit. In the winter, we would sit on that card table in our living room. It was like our living room. But it's it was really like small. such a horrible, cold, it's like, sad place. It's small. It's like eight feet And when by we would like eat dinner, 12 feet. there was like a hole in the floor. And he would get, my his feet, feet would get cold. Right, when my feet would be, it was freezing. <laughs> but a hole in the floor. I don't know floor. why we never talked to them about it. I don't it. know. Skinny, we're just dumb. We're, we were just dumb. I feel like we were so dumb. I didn't know what we were doing. We had a lot of dumb moments in our life together. We could we could continue to talk about many dumb moments. <laughs> but now, let's see. Let's talk a little bit. I feel like we need to make three videos, honestly. 
for the uh, the escape. Yeah, maybe we'll do the escape. You you cool? We'll do one more after this. Sure. Because I'll add a little more to this one, and then we'll talk about our escape from this apartment to, an, to a glory apartment after, which isn't <laughs> even that amazing. <laughs> so before, really so like, one. okay, just imagine we're here. He's a student. I'm looking for jobs, and we don't know anybody. We had no friends, no family. We literally knew nothing about anything. Knew nothing about new work. And I'm trying to find a job, which like if you don't know people or even know where stuff is, I was like, every time I look on a job and I'd be like trying to like, okay, how do I get there? Look on Google Maps. Oh, it's only an hour and a half by public but then transit. How do you get there? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like so I was like seeing like, okay, well if I if I did this one, then I'd have to do this. So I was applying for jobs for a long time and I remember I went to a job interview and it was like really far away. Oh my god. It was like I guess, I, did you come with me? We went, that, that was the headhunter office. That was the headhunter. Well, we went to a headhunter office once. It was very far. It very was like so three far. Three buses or something like that. It was so crazy and it was hot as hell. And like we were lost trying to find it, remember? You wore heels. Yeah, I wore heels. And we heels. were supposed to catch a bus. So and you we were, were like. Oh yeah, I took my shoes off. You took off. the shoes off and you run. <laughs> I, like, I did that a lot actually. What is going back, on? In the, back in the time, I used to do that a lot. I take my shoes off and run to the. I train. mean, we laughed about it even then because it was just like giving light. It, I heard it, but it feels like ridiculous. And then um, I had to go like I had an interview for like a law firm, which I ended up working at. And so we went to Goodwill to get clothes. Remember? Uh, yeah, we that but then you had all I had I had some nice clothes come later from Vietnam yeah. but went to Goodwill got my outfit went to my job interview luckily got the job but I wasn't starting right away and so I think when it was like I started September 8th so we moved July what 19th 19, yeah. July 19th from July 19th to September 8th nobody was working we were just spending whatever money we had and then I didn't start my job till the 8th, so you don't get paid for two weeks. So it was like almost late September, so that was what, July, like July, August, September. It was like two months of us living with no income, and we were down to like $100 when I got my paycheck. It was crazy. It was just a crazy experience to... Oh, and Chipotle didn't hire me, remember? I do remember that. I applied to Chipotle, I was so desperate for a job. Still got rejected. And they rejected me and I was like, oh my god, what am I gonna do? Not I applied to like 60 jobs. Not even Chipotle wanted Chipotle you. didn't want me. But I did get my job in the law firm. And then things started looking up, finally. Well, we started to be able to, <laughs> to pay our bills. Yeah. But it was not... Uh, but we still, we still it was not, budgeted pretty tightly. Not glorious, but it wasn't, uh, you know... It wasn't like, uh, how are we going to pay? <laughs> no, I mean, I say I worked at a law firm, but I was making $15 an hour. It was... Not a lawyer. It was, <laughs> it was not. It was a temp job through a headhunter. Yeah, so, so you make like really no money. Cut. Yeah, you make like no money. So anyways, that was the beginnings. Now, I'm going to... We're going to do another video of our escape, because that story... It's called The Escape. The Escape. <laughs> the Escape. So... If you want to see the escape, tune into the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave comments down below with your reactions to our story so far. And if you missed the last one, you better have watched it because we already gave away so much information. It's in chronicle order. Yep. So tune in for the next one. Bye.